While being middle class generally signifies financial stability, many middle class families actually live paycheck to paycheck. It can be easy to overspend on non-essential items in an effort to keep up with the Joneses. But being more mindful of spending habits can help the middle class build up savings and reach their financial goals. To find the balance between needs and wants, consider curbing your spending in the following categories. Seven things the middle class spends too much money on. Number one, housing. Housing is typically the biggest monthly expense for middle class households. With rising home prices in many areas, some middle class families stretch their budgets thin, trying to afford the nicest home they can. While owning a home is often considered part of the American dream, buying more house than you can reasonably afford is risky for your financial security. Not long ago, Americans will spend more on food than housing. But now, housing is by far the most biggest expense of most families. It's understandable to want a beautiful spacious home. However, consider lower cost areas or more modest homes that still meet your needs. Number two, car payments. Cars de depreciate fast, yet many middle class buyers opt for expensive auto loans to finance newer luxury cars. Keeping up with the latest models, models and technology can cost thousands in excessive car loan payments. Consider if you really need that brand new car with all the bells and whistles, or if a reliable used one will do the job just as well. The second largest expenditure category is transportation. Big car payments can eat you into your budget. Many of us spend way beyond the recommended 10 to 15% of our monthly take home pay on a car payment. To reduce expenses, consider being a single car household. Use public transportation, carpool, buy used vehicles, or go for cars with better fuel efficiency. Test driving used models in good condition can reveal a practically brand new car for a fraction of the price. Prioritize reliability and safety over lavish upgrades that don't improve your driving experience. Refinancing car loans can lower monthly payments too. Consider all options before committing to years of expensive payments. Number three, dining out. Nights out for dinner or drinks are fun, but dining out too often can really drain a middle class budget. The convenience of eating at restaurants or getting delivery makes it easy to make it a habit several times a week. However, preparing meals at home is significantly cheaper Eating at restaurants and grabbing takeout can be convenient and fun, but it can also add up quickly. Cooking at home more often can save a bunch while still enjoying delicious meals. Limiting dining now to once or twice a week and cooking at home for other meals can potentially save thousands of dollars over the course of a year. Meal prepping can make home cooking efficient during busy work weeks. Number four, brand name shopping. Name brand clothes, accessories, and other consumer goods are obtuseous. Advertising and social pressures make coveted brands seem like necessities. However, buying brand products just for the status can excessively inflate middle class spending. Sometimes we get caught up in the allure of brand names, but often generic or store brand items are just as good as the fancy ones and they cost less. Consider whether brand names items are actually higher quality and worth the price tag. Don't underestimate cheaper items. Store brands have vastly improved in quality. Number five, tech upgrades. It's tempting to upgrade to the latest smartphones, laptop, or other tech each time new models are released. However, upgrading too frequently can become very costly. New gadgets are enticing, but sometimes it's smarter to hold onto your current phone or computer a bit longer. Unless your current tech is truly slow or broken, resist the urge to splurge on upgrades. Minor new features are often not worth hundreds of dollars. Wait at least two to three years between new laptops and smartphones to maximize your investment. Selling gently, used electronics can offset upgrade costs too. Number six, credit card interest. Carrying a credit card balance and paying interest charges should not become a long-term habit. However, many middle-class consumers underestimate how small purchases here and there rack up interest payments over time. Paying high interest rates on credit card debt can really set you back. Try to pay off those credit card balances and avoid carrying a balance whenever possible. Ideally, credit cards should be paid off in full each month. Transferring debt to a low or no interest balance transfer card can provide temporary savings too. Always pay down your highest interest debts first. Number seven, unused subscriptions. From streaming service to gym membership, subscriptions can accumulate quickly. 
With AutoPay set up, it's easy to forget about unused subscriptions. However, these inactive subs can silently drain hundreds of year. It may be time to review your subscriptions and cut the ones that aren't adding value. If you're not using your gym membership regularly, it might be worth canceling or switching to a more affordable fitness option. Be brutally honest about which provide enough value to justify the cost. Downgrade plans or cancel unnecessary services. For gym memberships, consider cheaper chain options or exercise at home if you aren't going regularly.